Hi, this is Clint Wheelock with InformaTech. I'm here at Techcelerate London, which is home of IoT World Europe, along with the AI Summit, the AR VR Summit, and several other uh, events that are that are really bringing together a gathering of the technology industry here in London this week as part of London Tech Week. And I'm joined by my colleague Alexander Rehak, who is a uh, practice leader for Internet of Things with OVM. And Alexander, you had a chance to facilitate and to uh, chair portions of the IoT World event earlier, and I understand that you had an opportunity in particular to explore the role that the, um, that the C-suite is having in from a management and governance perspective and looking at IoT initiatives. And a, 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 you know, a couple of questions come to mind as we deal with this evolution of the IoT market as it enters a new stage of maturity. And one is just from the perspectives of the C-suite leaders that you heard from earlier, how does the approach to IoT differ from a traditional decision-making process for enterprise IT? That's a great question, Clint, thanks. I was lucky enough to, to chair a panel uh, today with, with C-suite executives from, uh, from three companies, really. So from uh, Sierra Wireless, they're a key provider of modules, connectivity, and, and solutions in the IoT world. Uh, from Schneider Electric, so very, very big on the industrial side and, and doing a lot of really innovative things with IoT technology. And then also Accenture, who, who work a lot in supporting the C-suite with all IoT initiatives and, and general digitalization initi initiatives. And I think um, what really came out in this panel was the importance of the C-suite in driving IoT success in organizations and making sure that you know, IoT is not just sort of a, a little IT project sort of sitting in one department um, or one office or one region, uh, but really rolling it into wider digitization efforts for the company and really wider transformation efforts because that is what IoT really can add value for, not just one small piece of improving efficiency in one corner of the business. Well, it sounds like there's kind of a different perspective on IoT relative to other technology implementation projects. And is that, would you say, just because it's seen as more of a strategic technology that can have a broader impact on enterprise operations? Or what else is driving that unique role that it plays? So really, it's not just about IT. And I think that is a, a big difference. If you look at, say, buying a traditional IT solution in an enterprise, you, typically you would go to the IT department or you would go to a senior IT leader. Uh, with IoT, you're, you're looking at something that's really going to change the business processes within the organization, and that has much wider implications. It has implications uh, for people, it has implications for integration, and it, it also has implications for the, the business model itself in a lot of cases. It, it can enable new types of business models to grow up, it can enable new lines of revenue, it can enable new ways of dealing with customers. So it, it's a much broader kind of discussion. Um, and it also needs a, a much bigger push from senior levels. That's what I was really hearing, is that it needs a, a lot of coordination across the organization. Well, that's what I was going to ask about next, is it sounds like there is kind of a unique role for um, C-level executives to play with IoT initiatives. And, it, and, and would you say that's primarily because um, IoT encompasses multiple aspects of company operations. It's not just uh, technology or IT, as you were saying, but it's, it's something that touches different areas as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think what, what I was hearing, again, from, from the panelists was really to make it a success, you need that C-suite support and, and drive behind it. And, and really helping companies recognize that it, you know, it's not, again, just sort of an optional IT project, but it actually it's a very fundamental component of their competitive advantage. And that companies that are, are deploying IoT, among other digitalization solutions successfully, really are gaining competitive advantage faster. And that's really why the C-suite is needed to push this. And how does all that translate, I'm curious, into the business case criteria uh, that people are utilizing within these organizations to evaluate IoT initiatives? Are there different types of ROI thresholds or, um, or considerations that are put into place that might look different than other technology initiatives? So this is something that, again, came out clearly. You have a drive always for the C-suite to be thinking about ROI. You know, what is this going to deliver in, in terms of, of the bottom line? 
you can get some fabulous ROI results with IoT in certain parts of the business. So if you're driving efficiency, you know, depending on what it is, depending on the industry, depending on the solution, you can get you know, 30, 40% improvement in a few months in some cases. And we saw lots of evidence of that today. But going beyond that is really where it starts to get interesting because, again, if you're looking at a transformation of your business model, of new ways of thinking about where the value is going to come from, from your customers, that is where IoT can really help you be agile and address those opportunities. That's not necessarily quick ROI. That's you know, a project over years. It's something that evolves as the business evolves. And, and that is, again, where C-suite can help and is sort of helping push that longer term kind of attitude in approaching IoT and thinking about how it can be used in the business effectively. Well, thanks, Alexander. Really interesting set of insights, and it's you know it's been clear to us for a number of years now that IoT is having a real impact on the technology market landscape. But it's also clear that it's beginning to have an impact on the uh, the approach that organizations take to technology strategy itself. So we'll certainly watch the space closely. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.